Welcome to another edition of Map on Moon. In this edition, we are looking at this interesting result. This states that if we have a function g from the unit circle in R2 to the set of real numbers, and if this function is continuous, then there must exist a point x0 in this unit circle such that g of x0 must be equal to g of minus x0. To prove this result, we first note that any point on S1, that is the unit circle, can be written as cos of twice phi t, comma sine of twice phi t. So, this is an ordered pair consisting of these two numbers, cos of twice phi t and sine of twice phi t. And this t lies between 0 and 1. Now, observe that for t equal to 0, we get the point 1, 0. This point A is 1, 0. And for t equal to half, we get the point minus 1, 0. Cos phi is minus 1 and sin phi is 0. So, this is the point B, which is minus 1. So, this is an interesting observation uh, which will be useful to us. So, what does this function G do? So, the function G maps every point of the form cos twice phi t, sin twice phi t to a real number. Now, if you think of ft, which is g of cos twice phi t, sin twice phi t, then f is a function from 0, 1 to the set of real numbers. And since the mapping t to cos 2 pi t, sin 2 pi t is continuous and g is given to be continuous, we call this mapping t to cos twice phi t sin twice phi t as w. So, we can then think of f as g of w t, where both g and w are continuous functions. And since the composition of two continuous functions is continuous, so we get that f is continuous. So, we now consider the function f tilde t, which is g of w t minus g of minus w t. Now, when we are dealing with this function f tilde t, we look at f tilde 0, then f tilde 0 is g w 0 minus g of minus w, which is from what we noted is g of 1 0 minus g of minus of minus 1. Now, look at f tilde half that is g of w half minus g of minus w half and w half remember is minus 1 0. So, this is g of minus 1 0 minus g of 1 0 and from these two we see that this is nothing but minus f tilde. This is an important result to know. So, f tilde 0 is equal to minus f tilde half. Now, if f tilde 0 is greater than 0, then this implies that f tilde half has to be less than and vice versa. That is, if f tilde 0 is less than 0, then f tilde half is less than 0. Now, since f t is continuous, therefore, f tilde is also continuous. So, we have argued that f is continuous because g is continuous and w is continuous. Similarly, we can argue that g of minus w t is also continuous because g is continuous and minus w is also continuous. So, so both of these g compose w and g compose minus w are continuous functions and their subtraction is also a continuous function. So, we we can conclude that f tilde is a continuous function on 0. And since f tilde is a continuous function, now from the intermediate value theorem, we know that in both of these cases, there would be a point between 0 and half such that f tilde t naught is equal to 0. Since f tilde t naught is g of w t naught minus g of minus w t naught, that is equal to 0, 
we can call w t naught as x naught and we can say that g of x naught minus g of minus x naught is equal to 0 and of course this x naught belongs to x1. So, we have this point x naught for which g of x naught is equal to g of minus x. So, you may say that what happens when f tilde 0 is 0. So, if f tilde 0 is 0, we immediately see that we have a solution uh, t naught equal to 0. So, we will have g of w 0 is equal to g of minus w 0 and we can take w 0 to be the x naught. So, we have shown that for any continuous function which maps the circle to the real line, there will be a pair of antipodal points x naught and minus x naught for which the g of x naught will be equal to g of minus x. An interesting way of thinking this would be that if you consider g x to be the temperature at the point x on the equator assuming that equator is a circle, then there will be two points on the equator which should have the same temperature. That would be a fun way of remembering this. Thank you.